If you follow those steps on blocking out this wood spirit, you can carve it, even if you think you can't. Just try it. Trust me. You'll see something come out. It's not going to look like mine. It's going to look like yours. So don't try to look like mine, but just follow those steps and you'll be able to do it. Hello everybody, this is a piece of driftwood I got the other day on the uh, beachcombing video. I showed you guys the video. That other piece didn't work out, so I figured I'd carve this. I'm not too sure what kind of wood this wood is. This wood is. It might be um, birch, it might be poplar wood, but I know it's a softer wood because it's light and it's bone dry, right? So we're going to carve a very basic wood spirit with the Dremel 4000. For the very beginner, I know I have lots of videos out carving wood spirits, but uh, you know what you got to reinvent the wheel sometimes and maybe i'll carve this out so it's a bit different so maybe it's more easy for people to understand for the very beginner i got a cut saw brand new cut saw extreme flame burr here this is my go-to burr right here i'm going to carve this whole spit wood spirit block it out with this is just with this one burr um this video might be a long video because how can you show how to do something within 10 or 20 minutes right so i'm basically going to run this one at full time and um carry on so i will say uh this dremel 4000 i'm running it with the foot pedal and the foot pedal it's a fordham foot pedal for this dremel here the foot pedal is just basically acting as a on off uh switch for this kind of like this here right now okay so carry on and my dremel's turned up maximum so i'm going to be carving at full speed today so the first thing I do when I got a piece of wood like this, I, I figure out where I want to carve it. I think this is birch wood actually, cause it's got the, uh, um, Rob just carved Rob pointed out to me. It's always gotten rotten in the middle there, the core. So that dark stuff's a little bit punky rotten. So this could be birch. Awesome. We're not going to put a finish on this. We're just going to leave it the way it is. So the first thing I do is, um, spin it around, see where, how I want to put the curving, where I want to put the wood spirit. Okay. I, it's kind of thinner down here, so this can be his mustache, and it's thicker up here. So let's put the face up here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to, what I'll do right now is I'll just draw the forehead on. This guy might not hair, have hair. All right, so there's the forehead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carve straight into the line and then remove the wood so his forehead slope back a little bit. We're not going to slope his forehead back too much this time, just a little bit. So it's just kind of sloped here. And then we're going to remove some of this uh, old gray wood that um, we know we're going to. So I'm not going to remove any up here because I'm not going to carve any hair, like crazy hair here. I might give him like Jesus hair that comes down the sides. But let's remove all this old gray stuff on the outside where we know we're going to carve. Let's just make it so we, we carve this whole thing down here. Give them a big long beard. Maybe we can carve something in the beard. And lots of people have been asking me questions like, um, you know, if you got the Fordham or the Dremel, whatever. Sometimes these burrs, when they're new, they, you know, you're carving and it will chaffer inside the wood, right? Like, so you're you're carving and it will chaffer and bounce out. So I think the easy so easiest solution for that is turn your Dremel down. Don't carve as fast or don't push as hard. Or cut a channel and then carve away the wood. Like So cut deep, then carve away. Cut deep, then carve away. So you don't have two, two walls. Because if you pretend you're, pretend this bit here is inside the two walls, it's going to get caught on one of the, the walls, and then it will chaffer, right? And it'll bounce out of there. So number one, slow down. Number two, don't push as hard. Number three, don't get stuck inside two walls. I'll show you what I mean, but like when we're doing that for the nose, but let's work on getting this slope here. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to take it too far back. Okay, so I got my dust collector fan going. If it, for all those beginners that don't know how this works, I got videos on my dust collector table. The dust gets sucked in here, lots of it anyways. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, this is, the mic that I'm using is noise cancellation, but it doesn't really work too great. What I'm gonna do is cut on this line, right and then remove some of the wood if i can find my foot pedal and we're basically going to run the run this video real time
And another thing, too, I want to suggest for the very beginning wood Dremel wood carvers, try and find yourself a soft wood to carve. Don't try and learn on a hard wood. It's going gonna, it's gonna to burn out your burrs, your bits, okay? Oh, also, if you want to get these cut saw bits, just go to the description below this video. It will take you to the cut saw site. There's a whole bunch of different ones. This is the extreme flame burr, like I said. One, it's the one-eighth that fits in the Dremel, the one-eighth size here. And use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. Okay, so if I keep on digging in this channel inside here that I got carved, it's going to want a chaffer, okay? You can see there, my thumb is. So let's do a couple more here. So now I'm not going to go any more deeper inside there, okay? See how deep it goes? My finger. Now I'm going to start removing this wood. Today's my lucky day. This is a really soft piece of wood. So now, because that doing it this way, the green goes this way, right? So doing it this way, you're, you're creating tension. So this is the thing about Dremel carving. You can carve any which direction you want against the grain. You don't, it's not like whittling where you have to carve with, uh, scoop the wood out with the grain. But anyways, let's make it a bit easier. Turn this wood sideways and clean up all this stuff. I might speed this up, okay? Okay, I'll get all this done off camera, but you guys can see how I do it. Just light. Another thing too, just because I'm carving full speed on my Dremel, doesn't mean I'm always pushing hard to remove a lot. So you see here, I'm just scraping it. Okay, good. So I got the forehead sloped back a bit, right? See how deep I went there? Not too deep. I can always carve deeper if I need to. Um, I got all this wood cleaned up. So I suggest when you get a piece of driftwood or any type of wood, if it's not brand new and it's got like bark on it or the crusty old outside stuff, just clean up the area that you know you want to carve. Because if you clean it up, then when you're carving it, you don't have to clean it up after. Trust me, it saves a lot of time. And also then you can see if there's any surprises inside the wood, right? Because sometimes there's like rot in, underneath this, this gray stuff or the bark, right? So now I know there's no rot, there's no cracks. I'm pretty 100% positive this is birch. So it's my lucky day. It's a soft wood. Okay, so now we're going to carve our face on. We would want to draw our face on. So let's see here. Always, I suggest, and this is everything in this video is just my opinion. There's other channels that do wood spirits that are way better carvers than me. This is just how I do it. And I'm trying to simplify it for all of you guys. With the Dremel, I don't carve with knives. I'm not knocking the people that carve with knives because they're awesome carvers, but I just don't do it. Okay. So there's our center line. So now let's put our eyebrows in. Um, we'll just kind of give them a nice swoosh here. And this is going to be a very basic wood spirit. So there's our eyes. Okay, forehead, eyes. Now our nose. You can make your nose thick. You can make it short. You can make it wide. You can make it skinny. You can do whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is the bridge of the nose, don't draw it on like this. So it's a point there. Because then your bridge of your nose is going to be thin. Then you're going to have to carve really deep. So I suggest you draw it on. Give yourself a nice thick bridge of the nose right here. 
Okay, see how thick that is. You can take, you can make it skinnier after if you want, like by carving it in. But it's harder to make it thicker. So there's that. Even this nose is a little bit thick for this guy's face. I think the problem I've been having with some of my wood spirits later is I've been making the nose too thick because then that doesn't give you enough room for your cheeks, right? So let's make this nose a little bit thinner. Okay. So there. There's a, a more thinner nose. It's a, I think it's a little bit long, but that's okay. Wood spirits can be whatever you want to be to be for the very beginning Dremel carver. It does. I'm not trying to carve a realistic looking face here. Okay. I'm just trying to carve a wood spirit, like a face that's kind of in the wood. All you need to do is get the nose and this stuff here. So I'm not even going to carve the mustache on yet, right? So what I'm going to do now is pull out my Dremel flex shaft, carve on the outside of these lines, and I'll show you how carve deep here. The deepest part of the carving, I think, <coughs> excuse me, is from here, around, and here. Okay, right there. That's the deepest part of the carving for this. That's how you get your nose to really stick off. We can take these eyebrows down farther too. We'll do it later. There's no hurry. I'm not in any any rush. You guys can come in and out of this video as you wish. Okay, so I got my fan going. I'm just going to turn this on its side. Let me see here. Is that better? Okay. One thing I want to say too, trust me, if you have a Dremel and you're watching this video, you can do this. You can totally do it. Okay? So there's that. There's the eye. The eyebrows are going to be up here. Now we're going to remove some of this wood here. See, just because I'm running full speed doesn't mean I'm pushing as hard as I can push. I'm letting the bird do the work. Okay, so I, I cut out my lines. Let's redraw them on. No big deal. This nose, I think, is a little bit... Nah, it's okay. So now let's carve on the nose. Okay, underneath the nose. Okay, so now, so now let's remove the wood around the nose. So you see there how carved I deep, how, sorry, how deep I carved under the nose. Now I'm going to remove this wood, but we're going to carve deeper here later. See how I'm just removing the wood away? Just feather it away. Okay, so see how the nose, this side is bigger than this side? It's easy. Just fix it like this. There you go. Now you can see the nose is starting to pop off a bit, right? Okay. So we can take these eyebrows. Let's carve a bit deeper underneath these eyes, round it out inside here, and then take these eyebrows down a bit farther. Because then that's how you can get the nose to really stick off far too. Okay, remove some wood. Whew. 
Okay, now we'll take the eyebrow. Now we'll take the eyebrows farther back now too. Which means you have to take your forehead back too, right? Okay, so now our nose is sticking farthest off the face. So, we're going to take these eyes down a little bit deeper too. Just go nice and round in here. Okay, so now I'm looking at this piece. I can see my eyes are different. This eye is higher than this eye. So you might as well try and correct that as you're going. Trying to round everything off. <sighs> okay. So this one here is a little bit sloped down more than that one. See? That's okay. I can take some more off here. So let's, uh, since we're working on this part, let's uh, draw, our, draw our eyebrows on. And then the no bridge of the nose, you need to make it, take it deeper. Okay. So what I'm going to do is cut thin on the outside of the eyebrow line, take the forehead back again. I know I'm getting a little bit rushy here, I'm sorry. Okay, so now our eyebrows are cut in. I'm going to remove this wood up here, slope it back a bit. Okay, I'm going to take the bridge of the nose, I'm going to do a cut right here. And then I'm going to slope the nose back this way a bit. Remove the wood inside the eyebrows between them. Don't worry about shaping your nose at this point. Okay. There, now our nose is sloped back. We got our eyebrows. Now let's move, let's remove the wood in this forehead here. This uh, wood is super soft, and this brand new bit's a little bit aggressive for it, but... Round the eyebrows a bit. Just... Just carve it in so you're giving it a nice shape, right? So that's pretty good for me. I can see right now, like, as you're progressing on your face, you want to try and keep both sides the same. So what's going on with this one? Let's see if we can get some better shadows here. Um, well, it's going pretty good, but I can see this eyebrow is coming down a little bit farther than this side. That's okay. Um, okay, there, our forehead sloped back perfect. We got our eyebrows raised up. So I think we're going on point here. So now the mustache. I draw it on right here. Okay. See how I go past the nose, higher than the nose. Try and get the same sides, then come down here. Okay, so, and you got to think what kind of 
Do you want it to have a bottom lip or do you want it to have an open mouth? I haven't done an open mouth one like this in a long time. So let's give this guy like a hanging down open mouth. Okay. And then our mouth, we'll draw the mouth in later after we move this and the, the, the mouth can hang down like that. So, do I got these drawn on the same? Because the mustache, then I roll it over onto the nose. So, let's just do this. I'm going to cut on the outside of the mustache line. Okay, so you can see, you guys don't have to do deep cuts like I do. You take your time, do a bunch of passes, do it nice and slow. Don't rush like me. So you can see here now, that deep cut in there. So what I'm going to do again now is I'm, this is how you get elevated cheekbones, like here, okay? So I'm going to go along here, and I'm going to cut deep in here where that line is underneath the nose, and I'm going to remove some of this wood. I'll have to redraw stuff on. That's okay. But the more you do it, you don't have to redraw it on because it's, it's just memory. You're, you're, you'll remember how to do it. So carve deep here and then remove some of this wood. Then, you're gonna, then I'm going to roll this mustache underneath these cheekbones. Okay, so see how deep that cut is in there? Now I'm going to remove this wood. Okay, now look how far that nose sticks off. Right, so remove this wood so it doesn't look like it's a punched in face. I could remove more, make it flatter, but we'll do that after. So we're gonna have to redraw our mustache back on. Once again, hit it with your center line. Pretend our center line's going up this way. Okay. So now, we're going to carve on the inside. Here's our mustache. We're going to carve on the inside, not too deep. Okay, so I got the mustache both sides kind of equal. Now we're going to remove this wood. Carve deeper. You got to remember when you're wood carving to always carve deeper, okay? Carve deeper. Because wood carving is re wood carving is removing, it's not adding.
Just keep on removing the wood inside here. Oops, see how it dug in there? Okay. Our nose, look at, look at that nose. Okay, so let's, um, we'll work on the nose after. Nose sticks farthest off the face. So now our bottom lip. We'll make it so he's like, kind of. Um, like this, then like this. We'll do it even maybe a little bit more too. So see that? Then remove the wood. Okay, inside the lip. When you're carving deep in here like this, be careful because that's when you can break your flex shaft on your Dremel. Okay, there's our bottom lip in there. I can see my mustache. This one is smaller than this one. So how will I correct that? Will I take it off from this? So this side is smaller than this side. So I can't make this side bigger. Well, I could if I carve deeper. So what I'm going to do is remove some of the wood on this side of the mustache right here and make it the same thickness as this. Great. Now they equal better. So, you see how high the mustache sticks off there? It doesn't need to be that high. Okay? So let's take the mustache down more too. Let's give you a side view of this. So let's remove some of this wood. Nice and easy. Because remember, remember what I said? You're, you, we're not trying to carve a realistic human face here. But sometimes if you use that for reference, the mustache does blend into the beard, right? So you can take it down to almost nothing right here at the point, which I'm going to do. Now the other side. Okay, this wood here, I could remove some more of it. Let me do that off screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch burrs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I got like a silver burr or a, a less new extreme burr because we're going to shape the nose. So I'm going to remove there.
Okay. Now let me find another burr. I'm going to try and find a, a more worn out uh, cuts all extreme flame burr. Okay, so you can see I got this a more duller burr here because when you get to the nose, you want to really take your time shaping it. So remember I carved, I drew the mustache on past the nose up here. Okay, so this is how this works for me. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shape this nose. So I'm going to try and show you. So see, it's a big bulky nose right now, but I'm going to make it like a point. I'm going to take both sides, see how it's flat here? I'm going to go like this. Take my time so it's like a triangle kind of thing. Just, you know, this is when you really take your time. For the beginner. Just keep moving wood around so it looks proportionate, right? So, okay, so there you can see it's more of a, let's see here, a little bit more. It's about setting yourself up. So you can see that's more like a triangle. Now, why I drew it on up, the, drew the mustache on when I had the nose here up higher like you see, I started here, not at the bottom of the nose, because now that you can bring this up a little bit more, and then there's your nostrils, it rolls off. Okay, these ones aren't on, perfect. So that dip inside, there's a name for it, a smile dip or something, I don't know what it's called. But now I'm gonna roll this up. See how our cheekbones are higher than our mustache, because I pushed that, I carved that deeper than the cheekbones? I'm going to go like this and roll it up over here. Then I'm going to remove some of this wood. And you, this is what my noses are never perfect both sides. And I tell you the truth, I really don't give up. You know what? So that side's done. So they look pretty equal to me. Now I'm going to remove some of this wood. So I can see this side is a little bit higher than this side, higher than this side. So I'm just going to remove some wood here. Okay, so there you can see. You know, you got a bump there. I can smooth this out just by going like this. Do a little bit more if you want.
Okay, so I think that's our nose done. Oh, we got to punch the nostrils in. So what I do the nostrils, I go like this, and I push up and under. Don't go too close to the side of the wall, the nostril here, okay? Because you can blow it out. Then you'll have it. I always do, and I got a big, huge, round nostril on the side. But let's see there. Okay, so there's our nostrils in, right? But now let's give them a little bit of shapeness on the outside, just a little round flare. There you go, that's all you need. See that? Okay, now it's time for Jordy to have a break. <laughs> okay, so now is the time you want to sit back, drink some coffee, and look at your piece and see how much you like it and um, what you want to change on it, okay? So, hmm, think, Jordy, think. How do you like this piece? Do both sides look proportionate to each other? What do you want to change? What do you not want to change? So I can't give this guy the Jesus hair because there's no room for it to come down the sides. So we'll give this guy a little bit of a hair wave, just, just a little bit right going this way, okay? Um, his cheekbones. What we're going to work on first is to give this guy some cheekbones. We might have to remove some of this wood here completely. And so what I'd basically do is give it a cut there. But what we'll do is we'll just scrape him in to make it look like he's got cheekbones. And his mustache, or sorry, his beard. You're only going to get a little bit of the beard rolling off on this side, but you got his beard down here. We could carve something else in this part too. I was thinking maybe I should make this a two-part video, but I wanted to make this video. At this point, you could just carve the beard in and call it done. Okay? You give him some little textures and stuff. So we'll try and roll through quick of the rest of this stuff. But the cheekbones is something that I've been doing lately, and I'll show you kind of how I do it. So I, like I said, we're going to remove some of this wood here. It's not going to be such a straight edge anymore. Okay, so I'm giving you guys the wide angle so you can see the whole thing. Um, so what we're going to do is re remove some wood here just to kind of make it like they're sucked in cheekbones a bit. Can you see that? Take it down a bit lower. Are good enough. I know it's a white wood, so it's hard for you guys to see. Okay, so now we're going to get the beard to kind of roll off here a bit. Okay, the mustache. Let's do the, um, we got the little bit here so we can make the beard roll off a little bit here. Mustache. Gotta cut that lip in deeper.
Okay, so there's some of the mustache. I've left this open because maybe I'll carve something in here off screen. You guys can carve whatever you want. A feather, some flowers, a boat, a bird, a pig, a goat, a squirrel, a AK-47. So now the hair up here. So what we want to do is just kind of bring it over here a bit. Okay, just so he's kind of got some hair up there. I know it's you're far off the camera right now, but see that? couple strands of hair coming off okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit it with this um, scotch brake with this mandrel and see if we can get rid of some of the fuzzies off here I'll say one thing when you're using this on your flex shaft or even your normal Dremel without the flex shaft turn your turn your Dremel down Okay, it's Good enough okay so there you guys can see there's basically all the blocking out down we got some beard carved in some mustache carved in um, I don't know if I yeah I might as well carve this guy real eyes if I can it's fuzzy wood I don't like carving trying to carve real eyes and fuzzy wood you know what since this is the very beginning uh, wood spirit Dremel video I'm not gonna carve this guy real eyes he does not wood spirits do not have to have real eyes so I got my cut solver again so what I'm going to do is go like this and tilt it on a 45 and carve underneath the eyebrows. Turn my Dremel up first. Okay, not straight under, but on a 45 underneath the eyebrows. See how I go on a 45 under there? Not just straight up and down, but up and under. Watch. If you want. See? Okay. So now let's do some textures on the uh, eyebrows. i got to find another bit. We're going to use an aluminum cutter. You guys can buy these bits on Amazon. They come in sets like 10. See this one? It's got like an end cutter on it. It's square. It's like a cylinder type. And uh, we're giving some eyebrows, some texture lines up here for age lines. And um, yeah. Okay. So like once again, they come in sets of 10 like, like this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Excuse me. This is not the metal working burr. This is the aluminum, cu aluminum cutting burr. 
You see it's just got single flutes and this one has a cutter on the bottom side too. So all I do is move my wood spirit and just let the bird do the work and roll off. Okay, now I do the same with this side. Okay, there's our eyebrows in place. Now let's give them some age lines up here. What else could we do? We can give him some age lines underneath his eyes. Clean it up a bit more. Okay, so there you go. Even look at his lip. His mustache comes out from under his lip, inside his lip. I don't care. I'm not changing it. It doesn't bother me. It's just a wood spirit. There's your side view. I think that's a perfect proportionate eyebrows, nose sticks off just a bit farther from the face. The mustache and beard are taken down. So there's a side view, his hair up top, just simple. So if you follow those steps that I've showed you, you can carve this. Don't worry, it's not going to look like mine. It's going to look like yours. And trust me, it will be awesome. And like this, the more that you do, the better it's going to look. Trust me on that too. So I'm going to carve something quick on offline here. Probably just like a curving fusion Japanese spiral thing. And then I don't have my torch here because this white wood, when you torch it, it can look super cool. Like a torch inside the eyes and in the mouth and the nostrils. Give it a little burn here, then clean it up. It would look super good. But my torches are at my carving station. So my chainsaw carving station. So uh, I'm going to carve here. Then we'll put a finish on it, I guess. Don't really want to, but whatever. So there you can see I quickly carved some spirals in there and matched them up. So you guys can carve whatever you want. So what I need to do now is I need to, um, because I, if I did have my torch here, I could burn in the deeper spots and sand it out, but I do not have a torch here. Okay, I could use my wood burner too to give them some details under the eyes and stuff like that. But let's, um, I got the poly shade. I've used this on tons of my videos, everybody. This color is a uh, classic oak, I think. I'm going to do the face um, with this, uh, yeah, something old, classic oak. I'm going to do the face with this. This is a stain and a, poly and a polyurethane at the same time. So I'm going to do the face with this. Then I'm going to do the spirals with this uh, Bombay mahogany. I'm going to put them on. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to wipe it off. Then I'm going to flap sand it. So I call it like smudging all the colors in and you can bring out the high points. I got to do this to get this video done for the very beginning uh, wood carvers dremels. Okay, so with this stuff, you got to make sure that you mix it up really good because the color sits in the bottom. So I got my uh, carving fusion paint mixer here. This is a hammer, screwdriver, paint mixer, um, toothpick, whatever you want it to be. But um, yeah, so this lid is uh, stuck on here pretty good. Okay, so then you mix it up, get the colors off the bottom. And then this, the darker Bombay mahogany, I'm going to put it in the eyes and in the nostril and in the mouth because then it will, it will give it a, a darker appearance once you're done, um, done doing it. Okay, so this is coagulated in here. But anyways, you guys don't need to see this. So let's see here, get your paintbrush. Okay, so be, 
don't use too much put some in the eyes because you got to remember this is dark darker than the classic walnut and you see I really don't take too much care just get it in there it doesn't have to be perfect I don't think it's as long as you know as long as you're having fun who really cares about anything else and all you need is a Dremel that's it okay got some of the nostrils oops a little bit dripped down there don't care okay so what we'll do when we still got some on here we'll switch over to the lighter color and we'll blend it try and blend that darker color that dripped onto the mustache okay so how about I get these two colors done and you see inside the eyes I miss some spots there I don't care I'll just put some of this in there this that that and this right just have a good time okay I'm gonna get all this on then we'll, we'll buff it out okay you can see here it's all stained now this is super soft wood so super porous I mean it sucked it in and it's almost dry so now I got this uh, emery cloth on the same mandrel emery cloth super soft sandpaper um, okay it's the cloth back sandpaper everybody that don't know um, on the mandrel and I'm gonna go around and scuff it up and hit all the high points You'll see there I carved a little hole up top to hang it on a wall. Put a nail on the wall and there's your hanger. There's two most important things I think when it comes to art. The second most important thing is to uh, sign your pieces people. There's a J for Jordy. That's all I do. The first most important thing is have fun. Simple as that. Have a good time. If you follow those steps on blocking out this wood spirit, you can carve it. Even if you think you can't, just try it. Trust me, you'll see something come out. It's not going to look like mine. It's going to look like yours. So don't try to look like mine, but just follow those steps and you'll be able to do it. And you can do whatever you want to do. Look, I carved a wood spirit. I think I did this live. I carved a wood spirit and his head is a tree. <laughs> Who cares? Have fun. This one's cottonwood bark. That's what it's about, everybody. It's having fun and finding a passion like I did. Try it. Get a Dremel. Get the cuts all burrs or saber tooth burrs. Don't use Dremel burrs. Try it. You will succeed. You'll find yourself a new passion. And it could just change your life like it's changed mine. Carbon Fusion. Over and out.